Welcome to a Simple Steps tutorial by Brando Consulting. I'm Lance, inventory software expert since 2006. In this video, I'm going to show you the simple steps of creating a sales order in Fishbowl Inventory or Fishbowl Advanced 2023. First of all, there's three different ways to navigate to the sales order screen. On the home screen, you can click the button here. In the sidebar, you can go to the sales category and select the sales order screen here. There's a menu bar across the top. You can select Sales drop down and select the Sales Order screen there. Once you're at the Sales Order screen, click New in the top left hand corner and then just follow the cursor. The cursor is now flashing in the Customer drop down. Select a customer and we can actually begin typing a customer name and it will narrow the list down for you. Follow the cursor once again. It takes you to the quantity field. Enter the quantity of the product you'd like to sell and hit tab, enter, or otherwise click, and the cursor will advance to the product field. Click in the product field and begin entering a keyword from the description or otherwise a number or alpha character to pull up your product number. Select the product and you may get a pop-up message Say on you're short on it. If you're short on it, you have some options. You can add it anyways, substitute it for something else, or drop ship it. I think nine times out of 10, we add anyways. And then repeat for each product you want to add to your sales order. Enter quantity, select product, add anyway. From here, you can adjust the ship to address. You can change the warehouse you're shipping it from. But probably most important, don't forget to enter the date you estimate to make the shipment. Either same day, next day, or maybe next week. It'll give you the option to update the ship date for each line. Select yes. And then the last step, don't forget it's not actually in a sales order until you click issue. Before I click issue, notice on the right hand side the status of it is just an estimate. If we click save, this order will remain an estimate. If we click issue, it will become a sales order and advance to the warehouse fulfillment screen on the picking screen. So click issue and that's the last step before we email. We can email and the email gives us an attachment of the sales order. So we can email an attachment of the sales order. This is a template that can be edited before or afterwards. Those are the simple steps of creating a sales order in Fishbowl Inventory. Click new, enter the customer, enter the product, enter more products, then click issue. Let's review them one more time. Top left hand corner, click new, follow the cursor to the customer, select a customer, enter the quantity you wish to sell, enter the product you wish to sell, and then click issue. Email if you'd like. If you forgot something, you can always go back and change the date, change the product. You can actually add more products after you issue. That's not a problem. And if you'd like to know why you're getting a pop-up after adding a product, click this little info balloon and it will give you some more information on the product. For instance, when it's coming in and what orders it's coming in on. For more information on sales order entry, be sure to watch our deep dive demo be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos. If this was helpful, be sure to like below. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Don't miss the next Fishbowl Inventory Simple Steps tutorial by Brando Consulting. Bye.